confidence. It's all about kinesics and proxemics. Those are really fancy words for proximity to somebody and what your body language is saying, what you're doing. Everyone is a different size and possessed of different appearances. Whether you like it or not, uh, size and appearance does matter for what kind of impression you can make on somebody right away. Being really large and tall or being very short and small can really leave a artificially created impression that can only be offset by how you are going to deliver your own self. Tall people often, for example, slouch when they don't want to dominate a room, sort of trying to hunch in and make themselves smaller, while shorter people may struggle with finding equal footing in a cocktail party situation where they're being unconsciously minimized due to their height and the perceptions of the people around them. Since most folks like to be seen as confident and interesting, here's a couple of ways to make that happen. Mind you, because they're tricks, they can only carry you so far. If you aren't actually feeling confident and you tend to fall flat on your face a lot, um, these are good ways to get started, but you're gonna have to do the heavy lifting. So one is be mindful of your stance. Stand straight, tuck your shoulders down and back. If you're sitting, you can lean forward as if you were like in a job interview. Leaning forward on the table can oftentimes be seen as more interesting. Alternatively, leaning back is a more relaxed kind of posture. Make direct eye contact, but not too much direct eye contact. Look off to the side, look up and around. Staring isn't very helpful. Guys, don't look at her tits. <laughs> it's rude and it devalues her as a person. So pick your eyes up, look around her face. If you don't like her face, nothing else is going to matter anyway. Ladies, if uh, you have the same issue with the men, you're probably in the wrong bar. Alternatively, if you're having the same issue with the women, maybe you're in the right bar. But, you know, knock yourself out. Remember to keep breathing. Even deep breaths mean that you're getting lots of oxygen and they're keeping you calmer. Your brain doesn't go into panic mode when it's getting enough oxygen. And move with deliberation. I'm not necessarily the best example of this. I tend to flail around a lot. You see me going um, er, ah, if you've watched any more than one of these at a time. Uh, but that deliberation is really good when you're interacting with somebody in a new capacity. Find that comfortable distance. Proxemics. Interviewing, for example, is really easy. They're going to sit you down at a table generally and sit across from it. So you can just use that to your own best uh, advantage. For the aforementioned social situation, though, it can be a lot trickier and it depends what you're trying to do. If you're at a family reunion, just hanging around and chatting is going to be fine. Uh, if you're in a situation where you're trying to hit someone, hit on someone, <laughs> um, you uh, definitely want to try to see if you can maneuver yourself in a little closer. If you're at a family reunion where you're trying to hit on someone, you're in Arkansas and should leave. So... If they're leaning away from you or looking at other things, you know, take note of those kinesics. That means they're trying to look for an escape route. They're not interested, okay? A person who smiles at you and just sort of doesn't really look it with their eyes, again, proximates, but more refined. So I'm talking from a pretty standard North American Caucasian standpoint. You need to be aware of the cultures you're in in order to make the right sorts of effects occur. Uh, Indian culture, for example, has you coming in a lot closer normally, while English culture has you sitting far away. Um, if you're really attractive, of course, you have an edge and people tend to give you a lot more uh, breathing space. Uh, but if people generally avoid you, you may want to actually check your hygiene and your appearance or what you're trying to tell other people with your own kinesics. If you're sitting here with your hoodie down, yeah, and you're just talking to people like this a lot, well, no wonder they're not interested in hitting on you. On the other hand, if you're never left alone in any social situation, you also want to check your hygiene and appearance because there's a difference between going to the gym and going clubbing. And if the amount of time you prepare 
uh, in your appearance is about the same for both, then you may be sending some mixed messages.